everyone. Welcome back to another video. So today, um, so pumped because I can finally talk about this. We're going to do a board setup, but I mainly want to talk about the Alvir grip that Seva started. Before we get into that, uh, I did get a new deck. We got a skate metal Eric Costin jam board. Uh, this is an 828 with a 14 inch wheelbase. So pumped on this because I love 825s. 828 is just like a hair bigger, which is not that big of a difference, but it's got my wheelbase. Um, compared to the tire board, it has a steeper nose and tail. The tail does look a little bit longer, which I like. And uh, yeah, it's got a bit, little bit more concave, but um, super excited to try this deck out. And, you know, we got the deck rails we're going to put on. I got to figure out how to get these screws out of here, but we got the deck rails. And then obviously we're doing the Ace uh, 44 AF1 Hollows, uh, best truck on the market. And then I have the Spitfire 99A Conical Full Formula 4 Evan Smith wheels colorway. Um, got some stickers, we're gonna sticker it up. And then just, you know, Ace 7 8 hardware, Phillips, normal standard stuff. But what I really want to talk about is the grip tape. So if you've been watching the channel for a very long time, you know that about a year and a half ago, uh, I was talking about somebody sending me grip tape to try and they sent me two different sheets and you know, I was sending notes back and forth. So Seba basically was doing his research and development for Alvir, um, which I can't begin to tell you guys how I'm a grip tape snob and obviously I've been spending the extra money to get the miles and all that. So um, I think this is the perfect grip tape and I think he nailed it. Uh, like I said, I'm a snob when it comes to grip tape. I will spend the extra money. So this is $2 cheaper than Miles. I believe Miles is at $10. This is at $7.99 on elvierco.com. And uh, yeah, it's perforated. Um, you know, I just got the plain black he sent me, which is very nice. Thank you, Seva. Um, the grip tape is a little wider than normal, so if you do ride like an 8.5, 8.75, you know, those bigger boards, this is a great piece of grip tape, obviously. You have more room for error. Uh, and, yeah, basically, the best way I can describe it is that when you grip your board with this, uh, you can skate it for two months, and it's going to feel the same. He really nailed whatever composition of grit and glue and everything he was talking about on the nine club um by the way if you haven't seen his nine club right here uh go check it out i'll leave a link to it in the description but um there's a whole section on him talking about Alvir, and he's obviously much more informative than i am all i know is that i like this more than jessup miles uh mob this is my preferred right here uh, I also like the name, I like the logo, very simple, nice little A with the star in it. Very classic, very elegant, classy, you might say. Super hyped for him. It's not easy to start a hard good company, especially nowadays, everybody's doing it. So to stand out, I think is really uh, important and I hope that you guys will check this out. Um, if your local shop doesn't carry it, you can ask them. To carry it you know tell them to hit up seva uh, or elvira on instagram and set up you know a way to get some grip over there or just go to the website and order it yourself um like i said it's only eight bucks a sheet and uh yeah this is this is the real deal good stuff right here so i am so pumped this is going to be like the most perfect setup ever i thought this one was good man this is nothing <laughs> this is going to be the setup all right so frustrating. So it took me so long to get the screws out of the deck rails. Um, man, that was a pain in the ass. I literally had to take like a razor blade and kind of carve out my hand is so hurt. Oh man, that was brutal. Okay. But so anyway, basically when I set up the deck rails, um, I usually put them about an inch and an eighth in 
So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna measure that out. We're gonna drill them through and then uh, we'll get to gripping. So I'm just gonna expedite all this. I don't want this to be a super long drawn out video. Um, we've all seen me set up a skateboard before. So I'm gonna put the deck rails on and then uh, yeah, we'll get into gripping and setting the rest up. All right, so literally the drill died the second screw in, so I gotta just plug the battery in and wait like a half hour before I can finish this now. It's so frustrating. <laughs> All right, well, we'll continue in a little bit. All right, so we got the deck rails in. Um, I just did it really quick because the drill was literally like, I just had enough juice to just get the last rail on, the last screw in, I should say. And as you can see, Got all the nails or screws sticking through. So yeah, now we're gonna go outside, bash them off with the hammer. Yeah. should have done there is I should have knocked all of them off before I started messing with the one that was being a, a, a pain. Uh, I should have got all the ones I could have got off first and then and then went back to the one but yeah got me pretty good. All right well that was really really stupid. <laughs> so essentially uh, one of the screws bent down and rather than just like hitting all the other ones and then going back to that I wouldn't stop and I tried to hit it from a different angle and just like straight swung right into one of these super sharp drywall screws and uh, yeah it got me it got me pretty good it's deep but it's just like a puncture it's not like a cut so I don't think it'll need stitches or anything like that but be careful learn from my mistake if you can't get one knock all the other ones off first and then go back to it but as you can see there's no uh, no holes or anything or things sticking up and then usually what I do is I'll go through and just kind of like tighten it anymore if I can but obviously I got I, I went through and got them all already oh that one spun a little I think I didn't do this side yeah but yeah just like spin them a little tighter if you can really get it on as best as you can your broken hand that was so stupid <laughs> today is just like one of those days I'm just being clumsy today you know I just got to get through the gripping process now and see if I uh, cannot hurt myself more
gripped up. Um, these little bumps here are just like tiny little bumps from the screws, so that's not the grip tape, but yeah, uh, it's perforated so you don't get air bubbles. That was probably one of the worst grip jobs I've done in a long time. Still looks, uh, still looks pretty good, so <laughs> pretty stoked. And you know what's funny is even though it is wider, I almost uh, missed my board still, which is just hilarious to me because they're like, you know, it's like, we'll make it wider so it's easier to grip boards. I still almost messed it up. So that's why it's better to be have it wider, you know. We're going to set the trucks up and uh, everything else, and then I'll show you when it's done. All right, well, having had a few injuries, this thing, uh, <laughs> this thing's already starting to beat me up and I haven't even skated on it yet. But essentially, uh, we got a skate metal, 828, 14-inch wheelbase, um, Ace AF1, 44, hollow, uh, the Bronson, Raws, as always. Um, the uh, Spitfire, conical full, uh, 99A, Evan Smith color wheel. And then, um, yeah, just kept it simple with the sticker job. And of course, the Alvier grid. I'm not just saying this because he sent me a couple sheets. The guy's the nicest guy in the world, and you can absolutely tell just by talking to him, or I could absolutely tell just by talking to him for a little bit, how uh, just really, really important grip tape is to him, including myself. I am so picky with grip, so um, yeah, I highly recommend trying it out. Go hit up your local skate shop, ask them to order some, um, or just go to the website, Elvirco. Uh, that'll be in the description below. And this isn't sponsored, this is just me really loving a product and uh, liking the guy a lot that sent it to me, and he's just the nicest dude. Um, and yeah, I really, really think he did an amazing job on this, so check it out. And that's gonna be the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Tomorrow we're going to be going to the curb spot and extending it, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, that's it. See everyone tomorrow. Peace. Don't know nothing about me, dude.